How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Iron Kink YouTube channel. As you can see, I got a haircut. But anyway, we finally had a break in the weather here and I thought what a perfect time to start working on my old farm tractor here. Well, I've got about 30 acres here surrounding my place and adjacent properties and I've used this old farm tractor to plow my fields, do a lot of the agricultural work around here that needs to be done. But I haven't really done a ton of maintenance to it. And I feel kind of bad. It does fire up and run most of the time. But I figure it's time to give it a little bit of love. It's a TW35. It's got a Ford turbo diesel engine in it. Honestly, it's not in that bad a shape. I did have to do an alternator on it because it quit charging and I'd always have to jump it to get it to go. But other than that, I really haven't done a bunch of maintenance to it. I guess we'll check the oil. Yeah, it's, it's actually a little bit low. I think our fill line, that's where that little notch is. So a little low there. And I always seem to be behind the eight ball on all this kind of stuff. So I figured with the break in the weather, let's go ahead and service on this old unit and at least get it ready for springtime when we need, actually need to use this thing. All right, well, a couple of the main issues I have with this old unit are I do a lot of cutting hay in the middle of the night and it doesn't have any working lights on it. So that's gonna be a main issue we gotta fix. The oil, I haven't changed it and I've owned it for two years. And I know that sounds bad, but I don't use it a whole lot, right? I'll use it three months out of the year and then it's parked. So we're going to go ahead and service on that. And then another issue, which I'm not sure if we can fix it, is the steering is really hard to steer. So we'll have to look into that guy too. It's something with the fluid. I think it has a hydraulic leak somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and check on that. But let's get this thing fired up and warmed up and moved over to the shop. All right, well, it's been sitting here for probably four months now and we've had a really a lot of really cold days so hopefully this goes good fuel in clutch down let's see if it does anything oh do we have i know how much you guys like starting fluid but she doesn't have a lot of battery so we look right here Well, it's about halfway. Let's let's keep trying. Give it some throttle. Nope. Okay. Uh, I think we're probably gonna go and get some jumper cables here and hook this thing up to one of the trucks. Or I even have my little jump pack. I wonder how tough that thing is. Let's go get that little jump pack and hook this thing up and see if it fires up off that little guy. That'll be impressive. Man, I'll tell you guys what, too, it is so much more pleasing to film out here and make a video when it's not negative 10 and the wind's blowing. But anyway, got our charger here. Let's see if this thing will boost this thing, get it started without using a can of starting fluid on it. let that hang right there fire it up okay that means it's working let's see if it fires up Ooh, it's getting windy I'll take the wind over the freezing cold though any day okay here we go clutch in a little bit of throttle Okay, we're getting a can of starting fluid. I'm not gonna kill that jump pack. Okay. A little bit of starting fluid. Let's go. Jeez. It doesn't wanna go. 
All right, let's try again. Oh yeah, way too much. Definitely killing this engine for sure. All right, let's go. And that jump pack is impressive, I'll tell you what. Well, I think we'll go ahead and let this thing warm up and idle for a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and move it over to the barn so we can get some work done on it, that's for sure. Should be good enough to get it over to the shop. Yeah, so we have this issue too, so I know you guys can't tell how hard I'm actually pulling on this, but it is seized and it does not want to turn. If I rev it up, makes it a little bit easier so we're definitely losing fluid somewhere on the power steering pump go ahead and lift this guy up first gear e-brake is off This thing runs good for sitting for how long it was. See, batteries are charging, full oil pressure, that's our coolant. And our fuel gauge doesn't work, unfortunately, but we'll go ahead and we'll check that out. Well, I got it parked over here, kind of by the barn. I forgot, I got a couple projects in the way. So what we're gonna check out is when I was driving over here, I noticed that my steering was really weak and we got nothing on the stick. And it's got a pretty good leak, honestly, out of the back of the pump when it's running. And I just don't think I refilled it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and top it off and I'll probably eventually just get this rebuilt because that's what it really needs. But we'll top it off and we'll check the steering, make sure everything works. Well, I'm sure a ton of keyboard warriors are going to tell me I'm doing the wrong thing here, but we got 1540. This pump usually took 10 weight, which is basically hydraulic oil. Guys, at all of the big mines that I deal with, especially during winter, this is all they run in everything. The transmission, the diff, the final drives. It's going to be just fine. Especially because we've got some wear here and it's leaking out that seal. It ain't going to hurt it at all. This will be just fine and way less expensive than buying a big five gallon bucket of 10 weight. I should really probably get a funnel for this, but let's spill it all first. Learn from our mistake and then get a funnel. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is me not learning from my mistakes. There we go. Got her that time. Oh, that's still pretty low. Honestly, this heavier weight oil by five is probably going to help us. especially with, with those old seals. And with it being a diesel oil, it's got a bunch of extra additives and seal softeners, stuff like that, that it's probably gonna help this thing out. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Well, other than making a total environmental disaster, I think that got it. And if you guys are saying get a funnel here, there's a high, there's a AC line directly in front of this thing, so there's like no way. I don't think I have a small enough funnel. Let's try this though. Perfect. Good, and I'll get a rag, I'll clean this mess up. Well, I only spilled a little bit. Not bad. 
Good enough though, and we're full. Let's go fire it up. See if we got our steering back on this thing. All right. Neutral, clutch out. Oh yeah, check that out. One finger. A little bit of a rev, get that pump moving. Yep, so we're good there. We'll see how that heavier weight oil holds up. Probably not gonna fix anything. Definitely isn't gonna hurt it, so. Well, let's move on to the next thing. Let's see if we can get at least a light working on this guy. Well, here's what I've been dealing with for the past couple years. A whole lot of nothing. And there is some lights up there, and honestly, I think like one of them works, but we need something out here to see what we're doing. I think there's a couple lights in the back that work too, but this is my main concern, so hopefully we can find something to put here. Looks like the wiring is still there. It's been hokey poked a little bit, which that's good. But anyway, she's been hokey poked and there's a giant wasp nest right there. Let's see if we can find something to put here and at least lighten this place up a little bit. Well, here's what I found in the shed. Now, that's gonna be easier to install. That one, I don't know, never, I don't even know if that works or not. And then I have these LEDs here, a little bit broken, but I think these are gonna be the ticket. They're gonna bolt on there real nice. Let's go test one of these out really quick just to see. Don't trip. Let's see how these are mounted up in here. Well, see, they've got a couple bolts right there. And they'll mount. Oh yeah, that's definitely the ticket, guys. Might look a little ugly, but it's definitely gonna work, especially for my purposes. Uh, let me get a pry bar in here. I'm gonna start taking these old guys out. And I do have my uh battery or not battery tester but a little voltmeter around here we can see if we got power that'll be definitely a big help well i figured first things first when we get to the, that wiring let's turn that on and let's see if we can find where our lights are gonna be well it's probably gonna be that's probably gonna be it yeah see how that killed that battery instantly that's doing something what do we got out here? A couple lights up top. Let's see if everything works. Let's see if we got power down here. Haha! -ha. Check that out. Sweet. Well, that just got a ton easier. And I'm not used to that at all. Check this out. That's a good wire still. Killer. Okay. Well, let's get all this stuff off, mount those new ones up. Got everything ready to go, pretty much. I'll tell you what, guys, I've been a Milwaukee guy a lot of my life, and it's pretty much what the tool uh, guys carry on their big tool trucks, and I went to Home Depot and got this thing, and I'll tell you what, for the money, that's the buy right there. Another one. Like nothing. Ooh, can we even get to this one? He's a little smashed. Probably need to get a pry bar on that guy and bend on it. Well, I got our original bolts here out of the old light. I think that'll work just fine. Let's do it. All right. Let's get some sendage on this. I tell you what, that's gonna work just fine until we hit something. But until then, this is gonna work just fine. Oh, that other one's gonna be a doozy because it is bent hard in there. Hopefully, the bolt's still good. Probably not. Well, I'm gonna have to get a wrench on it because this one won't fit. Well, it's pretty bent in there. See if we can 
sneak a wrench if she's all bent. Come on now. Nope. Ah, look at that. Goes right underneath. There we go. Oh yeah. Sweet. We can twist it underneath. Nope. Well, see you guys in 10 minutes. Well, after closer inspection, that one was never hooked up. After looking at this, this wire is pretty dang small. And I think two of these guys is probably going to be too much for it. So we're just going to run the one. Should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and wire this guy up. See if it works because I've actually never lit these guys up before, so we'll see if that makes a big difference. Right. Get one of these blue jobbies out here. Right. Clamp her down. Yeah, good enough there. Get our other one. And block some of the wind here. All right, you guys watch that light. We'll see what happens. Did it work? Oh yeah. We got some lightage here. Sweet. Well, that one's working good. Those ones are working too, but they're not very bright. That's definitely going to be three times what we already had. See the wiring here? Are we getting warm? Not really. Cool. Well, I'll clean that rest of that wiring up. Turn that off. Ignition off. Well, go ahead. I'll heat shrink that. Get this all zip tied up and out of the way. Well, I, unfortunately, I made a little bit of a miscalculation. I was getting ready to do the oil change and I forgot it's Christmas Day. And well, unfortunately, none of the auto parts stores are open, so I couldn't order the filters that I needed. I had the oil, but let's go ahead, take this thing for a spin and make sure we got the batteries all charged up. Take it for a spin in the field, park it. Also, we're going to make sure that our steering is working the way it should, and we'll check that when, our de when we're done. All right, well, it should fire right back up. Like nothing. See, batteries charging. We do have brakes, I just needed to, the pump needed to circulate that oil, and I checked it and we're good to go on that. Come on, grab another gear. Come on girl, let's go.
Well, we've been running it around for probably 20 minutes, getting the batteries all charged up. Light's working pretty good. Everything's all okay. really good too. Shut her down. Put that in gear. E brake. I'm gonna lower this guy down too. Good to go. Go ahead and we'll check on our steering pump as well. See if it's holding any fluid. Oh yeah, no frothing. We'll just have to keep monitoring that and we'll check it when springtime comes around. All right guys, well I think that's gonna do it for this one. Really appreciate you guys following along. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Anyway guys, Merry Christmas. I'll see you guys in the next one.